introduction. And good afternoon, everybody. I think that uh, uh, this is a uh, quite new, even in Taiwan. And uh, now we just find that uh, this this project, although originally its target is on elder population, and later on unexpectedly, we found that which have a lot of implication and the real support for children in tribal area. So let me share our pilot experience with you. So I think that uh, since uh, 2008, we launched the largest uh, smart uh, technology project as a major uh, national policy for the coming century. So along the line, we set up a various kind of regional center to facilitate a very important idea, which is the user could be the innovator. And uh, at the same time, uh, due to the achievement from our uh, public health uh, practitioner, they, we convinced our government the kind of original planning should be based upon community mental health and the community health. And so the community health and the health city will be the kind of underlying goal for this kind of new uh, high-tech national project. And there, in fact, since, uh, uh, since 1990, we have a Community Building Act. And uh, based upon the national health insurance, we significantly reduce the health service get in, uh, even in remote community. But however, how to Im empower the people and uh, how to deepen our democratic foundation, which allow people in marginal position can have a voice and even have a feedback on our policy. And also we want to through the kind of effort to enrich our civil society and also to create a society that is healthy along aging. Because you know, now Taiwan is the world uh, number two, second, just second to Japan in the uh, very fast phase of aging. <laughs> increase of aging population. And uh, the even uh, challenge issue here is that, you know, in Taiwan, we have uh, more than, we have around uh, 266 mountains, which is over 1,000 meters. So, and uh, this high mountain area occupy more than 70% of this small island. So, which means that those uh, people in high mountain area have their own unique culture. Right now, we have identified 15 different uh, nations within the Taiwanese <laughs> island, you know. <laughs> so, along the line, uh, it's very important. We begin to think about if the scientific project could have a contribution to their own voice then we need a, they become partner to design the project with us. So participatory design, action research, that when you are doing research, you can at the same time produce outcome rather than wait till the end. And also a sense of empowerment and their form of community partnership become the foundation of the new national goal under the new smart technology uh, national policy. So. The living lab is a kind of foundation that uh, provides a kind of information uh, technology infrastructure that uh, facilitate local people become uh, get more involved in the kind of research or national uh, pilot project. So here is an uh, original idea. The, the kind of idea is begin from the MIT professor and he is a leading architect, and uh, he did, uh, provided the kind of participatory research in urban planning. And uh, nowadays, we know that a lot of living labor experiments is in metropolitan area in advanced country. But some of small projects may apply to reduce the health gap for particular issue in remote area, but uh, never have a one have a such kind of uh, a, a kind of total solution pilot uh, 
project in Taiwan. So the purpose of our project is, to, uh, is working to establish a platform for developing smart technology using a kind of participatory approach in, uh, with an uh, uh, IT platform in tribal areas of Taiwan with the goal of empower high mountain indigenous people and ameliorate raising their marginal position in our society. So this action research imply the concept to design service, product, application of users' real environment in tribal area. We also wish to explore whether or not the concept of user in innovation offers an approach to bridge tribal and the professional communities and uh, to promote community health in tribal area. So the initial goal is to uh, let's promote the tribal use of intelligent mobile technology as a way of helping tribal deal with the process of relocation and the reconstruction, follow nature uh, community uh, by linking social network for the community building. But later on, we feel that uh, this kind of project can be uh, for ordinary uh, purpose on every day's life. So that this is a map of the project in the four uh, eco health ecological region in through the health delivery uh, service lens. Uh, we link the tribal community and the um, community hospital and the local health station together to form the foundation to support the idea. So we uh, established in a Jingyue tribe and uh, this project is focused uh, in a, a small tribe uh, because it's a very pilot study in the uh, Nanao Township. And this church is about 600 people living in a stunning, beautiful, but remote mountain landscape. And over five years, a partnership between the Jingyue tribe and the Taipei Medical University has been solid and established. So that's a foundation that we can do that. However, previously, there has been no significant collective effort dedicated to health rehabilitation or health promotion in Nanao Township. Access to health care is rather limited due to this township remote geographic location and the no significant ICT use is evident in their everyday life, let alone for health. So the idea is that now we are in the age of cloud computing and uh, in the metropolitan area, we have the kind of uh, health industry, they build a kind of core center based upon a system called core center, which is the second company is from Japan. It's a very famous uh, company and uh, ex with expertise in telecare. And uh, the Taiwan branch, we work with them to build a new concept, which is that we need a crowd within the community. In the sense that uh, this crowd, uh, all information, can be managed, shared, and uh, controlled by the lay person within the community and the expertise in the community. So that's the uh, idea. So there are three phases that we reach to this. Uh, we implement the project. Uh, the first phase one is geared to the user feedback on the design of healthcare device, as well as the management of individual health information. And the second phase will lead to a new community building momentum created by collaborative partnership between research team and the tribal association in design the ethical governance framework for living lab and enjoy a mutual supportive blueprint for health maintenance and promotion. And in phase three, there will be a student participatory approach in design an ICT product uh, with a mutual supportive function. And the student, including the local student, which is about they are high uh, school boy and girls in that tribe. <laughs> so along the line, we also have a kind of e-learning platform established for that community, which means that 
uh, all participants can have their literature research, information research through the kind of e-learning platform. And uh, the e-learning platform will record all teaching and the learning activity uh, in the process. So uh, let me show you the result. In the phase one, we conduct five public consultation between June and November of uh, 2011. After final public consultation on November 14th that year, the Jinyue Community Development, Development Association agreed to consult this individual in need about possibility to join our pilot study. So later, we identified 10 candidates. They need broader sugar check and broader pressure check. So we have the kind of device combined both two to, uh, to teach the, uh, the, the health worker, the, no, the community uh, development, development leader of this association. And also we go to each uh, candidate's home and uh, to explain the device for them and uh, then establish a kind of cloud uh, web calling center to monitor the process and also at that time uh, information, health information management platform was at the same time established which means that the leader of the, com of the uh, community development association can at the same time uh, coordinate the resources and monitor those data with the experienced nurse in the call center. So the phase one established the collaboration with the Jinyue Tribal Community Development Association and the research team. And under its guidance, uh, identify appropriate individual user to get the feedback on how to appropriately deploy such health care device for the elderly in tribal area. And uh, here you can see uh, the left hand side will be the monitor screen that we are using, the, which is a platform can be accessed by the tribal leader as well. Certainly they have a kind of a continued education training along the line. And uh, in the phase two, we try to empower the elderly, which means that we build a mutual support family network in the sense that self and the mutual support with smart technology will be the idea for those who uh, to learn from each other's health condition and the remind each other to do the health promotion and uh, I including the, the important vital sign check. And uh, more importantly, once they are in, in need, they will find the people from neighborhood who come to help them. And uh, with the coordinating function from the uh, tribal association. And also along the line, we help them to identify qualified people to form a delegate to, on the one hand, to manage those health information, on the other hand, to represent the tribe in t uh, as a whole to negotiate with other potential uh, industry or university if they want to join the pilot study and uh, they can have their device to be examined and tested in this community. So, and uh, we were treat Taipei Medical University as an uh, outsider, just like an uh, industry. We needed to form a formal uh, MOU with them because this is a new uh, project. And uh, at the same time, we begin to help them to form a kind of benefit sharing framework based upon their consensus. And uh, afterward, this uh, living lab begin to serve for two functions. Some industry or some uh, university researcher, when they have their uh, prototype 
IT device, which they think uh, which might be appropriate for health promotion in tribal area for or in local community. They can have an MOU with the uh, uh, tribal association, and uh, then those volunteers will help them to examine the problem and uh, get feedback to how to further modify the prototype of the IT device. And uh, for the other part, which means that if they have this kind of idea, they need partner to work together to see in what way that we can form a kind of uh, interpersonal network within the community for health promotion. In this part, there's new device which needed to be created uh, uh, with a partnership between the local people and the industry. Then they can have the go to the, the middle check. So they are different kind of product examination or inno innovation model established in the phase two. And in the phase three, we fear that it's still difficult for the uh, local elder to become an innovator. So we, however, the user as an innovator, as an active participant will be very important for this kind of project. So we let students to in get involved. So there are two uh, major achievements in phase three. The first was collaboration between the research team and the tribal association to develop a user innovation platform that will connect social and cultural activity with health promotion. And the second achievement was to incorporate the interdisciplinary service learning activity of students into the provision of the material device and the service for the elderly in need. So in the sense, we recruit the student from different university who are interested in doing the community volunteering work, especially in tribal area. And uh, we have faculty member from anthropology department, sociology department, long-term care division, and their electronic engineering, and their urban planning or architecture department. They form an interdisciplinary team. And the students will get together and they're uh, at it for two weekends in tribal area. So in total, they have four days in the tribe. The first, the first during the uh, first weekend, the first day, they will begin have the orientation about the interdisciplinary or, uh, uh, guidance. And uh, they needed to find out the detail uh, through the e-learning platform by their teamwork. And uh, in each team, they are local students, uh, voluntary work, and uh, some junior high students involved. But uh, at major of them are university students from different universities. And also in each team, they will have uh, graduate, graduate students who, whose background is in uh, information technology or uh, health informatics that will support them to do their innovation. And uh, the first day, the major activity for them is to take the life history from the local people. And uh, for the second day, they will try to, based upon the life history they learn, they will try to identify how the health issue matter in uh, their interview is life. And also, if they may also ask about in what way they take a part or contrib contribute a part or join into the kind of community development activity in tribal area. So after they come back uh, about one month preparation, they have to present their proto idea about what kind of design they can use in tribal area to service, to enhance the community-based health promotion, which will be the IT solution. So once they get the kind of prototype at hand, they will go to the tribal for the second week. So on the third day of this project in the tribal area, the students are expected, because they already take a 
around six hours oral history interview with the interviewee. So this time they have to present their idea with local language. Along the line, they present their idea to uh, to let the el the tribal elderly to know their idea and to think to get a feedback from the elderly. And uh, some of the uh, tribal elderly begin to give them feedback and uh, even tell them what's the social dynamic we see in the tribal area. So they contribute significantly to help a student to uh, revise, modify their original concept and uh, then we work out a more appropriate solution for the tribal area. For so in the last day, the student, they were to present their group project in tribal area. And uh, the local leader and the uh, university uh, teaching faculty will give them feedback at the same time and try to use a student presentation as a mediator that we can learn from each other. So uh, this is the first pilot project. Nowadays, we are around 200 uh, new innovation created in that tribal area. But uh, let me show you the first six that we have accomplished. The first group designed a health promotion platform that will connect the individual and the community health center through inter-family networking. And uh, the second group provides a smart medication box that are not only fit into different daily life activity, but that also integrate information for collective health maintenance purpose. And the third group uh, incorporates the device user's wish to formulate a proposal for building a tribal smart classroom with a goal of preserving traditional waving culture in tribal area. And uh, the group four, the device the smart POC worker with a feature including a built-in urgent communication device, a 40 monitor, and a, a collective working activity information sharing function with their supporting network member. And the group five created an interactive composition platform for preserving song and dance in tribal area. And the group six construct a smart plot IT platform to incorporate the raw material from our history photo uh, photos, home videos, audios, and so on into a various product form, including the film for uploading t on YouTube very easily. So I think that what we have accomplished with the participation of the medical device user in the community, the student clearly enriched the user innovation platform and its use for this for health promotion and the cultural preservation. And uh, their contribution were not limited to either cultural domain or health issue, but to create a bridge between both arena. Student feedback show they were fully aware of the cultural barrier information disparity in this tribal area and attuned to the consequences in terms of social justice. So in conclusion, we propose a new sense of professionalism incorporating an obligation to civic engagement so that the designer considers social consequences of ever evolving smart technology to come, uh, to come up with a more humanistic approach to social change. And also a participatory approach to a professional practice will help build a learning environment that makes minority an inseparable part of design new business model and business plan with an eye toward greater justice for age to come. So finally, we feel that as a, uh, a medical educator, we think that we have to let students know the foundation of our health delivery is the reserve function of the patient and their family. Our role is to empower and to increase their function. And uh, for IT person, their function will be help us a way to better empower, to facilitate our empowerment to our patient to increase the capacity of the community in taking care of themselves. I think that will be a more sustainable uh, solution 
for the aging pressure in Taiwan or in our region. So that's our, my presentation. Uh, thank you for your attention.